Billy D with your weekly buzz with a good friend of mine, uh, Dr. Harry Cohn, right from here in Orange County, Costa, Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa, right down You've the block. Been practicing 25 years, 25, almost century. as long as me is 30. But you know, we've been like, I don't want to call us the old guard, but we've been doing it for a while, dude. And yeah. you know, it's not like, and we're still on fire about it. And you've been coming to a lot of DCS meetings, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because you brought us some interesting facts and just notes. You've been to Cal Jam like three or four times now, and you, yep. you love it. Love it. Why, Why do you love, love it? it? So what's so so much to love about it? Well, I love it because it's got the fire. I love it because it's still on purpose. I love it because uh, there's something there for everybody, and I love it because people get to see things beyond chiropractic. They get to see that chiropractic is a friend of the community. We get to see a lot of people that are in support of chiropractic. We get people iconic in so many different communities because folks, we're not gonna do it alone. It takes a village to really get the word out about chiropractic and understand chiropractic. And it's one of the last places that uh, people are not afraid to use the word subluxation. Right, right. And you brought some interesting points up too, is like, well, these are in the discussion we had, it was kind of, it blows my mind and, and it also kind of blows your mind a little bit. The fact that we got dudes in our own neighborhood that don't show up to the event. And I, I, I can understand that for my brother made a good point. Some people, my brother says some people just aren't into chiropractic as much as we are. But we've really tried to provide such an awesome program that not only invigorates and gives you drive and gives you passion and zeal to do what we do, but also, I mean, obviously, we're given 18 hours of relicensure. It's a great party. I right. Mean, there's nothing wrong with having a party once in a while. Again, I'm drink water. It's got to be now. fun. Yeah, it's got to be fun. Got to be so. fun. And we throw a little rock and roll in there. And right. great speakers. Right. And, and again, I just it's been really, you know, it's just like we've had. Uh, my niece has been calling today. There's a lot of people that still don't even know what Cal Jam is, which kind of also blows me away. In the neighborhood. Right. Well, to be honest. I did not, you know, and for so what do uh, you think? What do you think the, the the reason for that is? Well, um, is it living under a rock or a lot what? of people are just doing? Everyone's doing what they're doing. They're right. doing what they're doing within chiropractic or what they call chiropractic, and everyone hopefully is at least plugging into something outside themselves where the message is being shared. Forever for us, it was Parker. Parker was a big one, right? As far as because it was one stage, one weekend. It was Las Vegas. I'm not gonna lie where I could actually get my staff out of town. We had we, we just had right, fun. Right, maybe and we that's it, yeah. And that's what it was. And it was around the same time, so a lot of times people choose both. However, as much as I love Parker and as much as I love it still, uh, when I went to Cal Jam, it had more of the edge. And what right. I used to see in the earlier part of my career in the 90s uh, that was at Parker is more so at Cal Jam right now. Mm -hmm. And I know Parker's doing a lot. They're working hard. They're working on making a comeback. We're bringing it. However, it's become a little too commercial just for me, just for me. I'm still, I'm still fans, still recommend it, still have people go. You still um, speak at it, don't uh, you? Well, I go to it. We do stuff. We support. I've had my company, my nutrition company, be a vendor at it. I don't right. know how many times. Um, so I support everything that supports chiropractic. Right. right. That's really at the end of the day. Why I'm here today and why we're talking today is because really what you're doing. Right. You're going that extra mile. And a lot of people, I think, don't know. And... Listen, you're a very animated personality. And so a lot of people, they don't know what to do with that. And they're not really sure what's going on here. They go, oh, it's all going to be a little, be... little polarizing. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that <nice? laughs> Slightly polarizing. So if a lot of people, they don't know, they go, oh, is it going to be like, you know, 25 hours of this? Or is it going to be all that kind of stuff? And they just don't know. You right. know, not everybody can bring the energy. It takes big energy to fill a room like that. Right. And my biggest thing is when I went to Cal Jam and my staff, and what we talk about, they go, how are there only 22,000, 2,500 people here? Why are we not in a stadium already? Because it is the greatest all-around energy. And it's bringing, what dumbfounds me too, and I, I really hope I'm not offending anybody, you have people on your stage that are amazing. I've been listening to them speak around the world for the last 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, even 30 years. And these people have communities, they have a village, they have tribes of people that even if one fiftieth of their tribe came to this event to hear them speak, their people, their guy, their gal, uh, you would have to be in a stadium. Right. So what's dumbfounding to me is really that. What's, what's What people I think don't realize is... This is not a moneymaker. This is a labor of love. I see what you do. I've been in this industry a long time. 
I've put on huge events. I've been part of huge events. I know what they cost. I know the energy they cost. I know what goes behind staffing. You could be out there. You have an amazing office here. You could be practicing, loving life, doing stuff, surfing more, relaxing, but you're doing it because here's the deal. The thing that always drove me was the BJ Palmer statement that was he said to every student when they graduated was said, if you were the last chiropractic, uh, chiropractor on earth, would chiropractic survive? And really, to be honest with you, no blowing smoke up your, you know, I believe that when I see you. I believe that when I see you speak. And regardless of whether it's user friendly for everybody or not, how you speak, it's irrelevant. You are bringing it. You know what? It was uncomfortable. BJ was uncomfortable for a lot of people, ruffled a lot of feathers. However, were it not for him stepping outside the box, getting on the radio, making auda audacious promises when people were saying chiropractic this, chiropractic that, and he put himself on the line personally, his money, his time, his reputation, to back up chiropractic, to back up chiropractors who did not understand, respect, or believe in even what he was saying, who can now practice today, not having to go to jail to do it, but to be able to do it and make magic happen for human beings still to this day by getting your hands on people's spines and releasing that innate intelligence so it can heal the way God intended it. That is a big thing. We, I believe that I tell my staff we have a moral and ethical responsibility to spread this around the world. When I went to chiropractic, when I went to Cal Jam the first time, I was, uh, I was angry with myself. I was angry with myself because for six years I did not go, or five years I did not go, because it took me that long to realize just what the heck you were doing over here. <laughs> I had no idea either. I really did. And I think, you know, the saying is that you don't know what you don't know until you find out you didn't know it. If you haven't been to Cal Jam, I promise you it's going to be the most amazing thing. We have stuff going on. Listen. When I was this, the reason I'm a chiropractor is because someone came to my school, chiropractor, on a career day and gave his time, energy, and money to actually, for no money, to go there and tell a story about chiropractic. Because he did, I'm a chiropractic, chiropractor today. I've had tons of associates, tons of patients become chiropractors, all because of this one ripple effect. Right. You, what you do at Cal Gym is a massive ripple effect. It is a massive ripple effect. We uh, uh, are putting on things right now, which I invite you all to do. Uh, programs within our office to get patients to come to Cal GM. That's what I wanted to bring up. It next. is a yeah. big, 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 big deal. Guys, we can't tell the story. We have our hands on patients all day long. We can only tell so much and you're never here in your own town. Right. Our patients need to sing from the hilltops about what we're doing. The only way they're going to do it if they see the bigness of what's going on. Listen, you can't watch it on a video. You can't You can't just get it onesie twosie. But if you get boom, 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 one after another, not just chiropractic, but all the allies of chiropractic on one stage, bringing it, bringing their heart, their soul, their talents, you can't afford not to have it. When we were there last year, we're like, oh, it is criminal. I felt, I felt like I did my patients a disservice by not creating uh, a way for them to all come. So we have a lot of different programs that we're doing. I invite you to do similar things where we're going to do a day where, where instead of paying for your adjustment, you pay towards your ticket to Cal Jam. Mm -hmm. And so that people can come. And it's like, because here's what I know. If I have five patients at Cal Jam, they're gonna go bring 50 new people, 50 new patients in. If I have 10, they're gonna be, they're gonna bring 100. If I, and on and on and on. If you knew that every patient you got there was gonna bring you five more patients, wouldn't you have everybody go? Listen, I have a more holistic e kind of practice at the Cone Health Institute, so I'm not seeing a thousand patients a week like a lot of you guys are doing. Listen, I mean, the fact that it hasn't been sold out yet and we're shopping for overflow rooms to put it up on video or pay-per-view it or whatever is dumbfounding to me. It is dumbfounding to me because there is no other stage that's bringing more people together, bringing a message. This is, you calling it the freedom, the freedom, freedom tour. tour. Yeah, freedom tour. Listen, we are in California right now. Our freedoms are being <laughs> taken away daily. I mean, you and I were up in Sacramento trying to educate people about this vaccination SB nightmare. Just, yeah. uh, and, what, and what the nightmare every, came true. And it came true. Mm -hmm. All our efforts, all people, our money. People just standing on the sidelines, being a spectator. Right. Not getting involved. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking someone else is going to do so it. So basically, you're putting a challenge up to other guys to see if you can bring more people. I am. Them. Okay. Have some pride. Prairie Jersey, put on your, your office logo. Get some shirts made up just for Cal Jam. Hey, Billy's got some nice shirts. You can pick your favorite one. I'm yeah, sure you can wear yeah, one of those yeah. if you don't I mean, want to make your own. Let me share one story. Too. Go for I, the it. first year I did Cal Jam, I had a lady come up to me. She was one of the patients that came from our office. She was 62 years old. 
and she came up to me at the end of the first day and she goes, she's crying. And I go, Sandy, what's wrong? She goes, this event was so amazing that if I wasn't as old as I was, I would go to chiropractic school tomorrow. That's how this, this program not only motivates people, but it, it just, it even will propel people to become chiropractors. And that's why I think it's, no, I don't think, I know it's so important for us not only to bring our brethren, like we said, and our teams, and but also bring the general public so that they can see how big chiropractic is. And also, yeah, my, my goal and vision is to create global sustainability and deal with some of the issues, whether it's geoengineering, GMO, obviously the big vaccine issues. So I think it's important that we bring patients as well, especially from the neighborhood if we can. Exactly. The other thing I'd like to add is students. We were talking about, again, uh, I, because someone took their time out to help me as a student, listen, guys, we are all blessed to have such great practices, such great lives, be able to do this every day. Mm -hmm. When I first met uh, uh, my chiropractor, he said I would pay to do what I do. And I never met that. I never met anybody. That's no, I would do the same thing. Do. I would exactly say, right. I say exactly. So let's put our money where their mouth with. You know what? Sponsor students. Sponsor two students. Sponsor five students to come. Get them here because they're only going to be part of this future, which is us. Because listen, you know, as good a shape as we're in, as fun as we're having, as youthful we're staying with chiropractic, I'm not gonna live forever. No, not forever. Right. Not forever. So uh, we're on the on the shoulders of greats, the barges the Palmers, the Parkers, the all Sigafuses, the Sigafuses right, yeah. that uh, have been telling the story for a long, long time. And we owe it to them to keep this legacy going, keep it alive. And it's alive and well at, at CalGM. I look forward to seeing everybody there with their teams, with their offices, with their students, with other their chiropractic brethren, because they need it. They don't know they need it, but they need it. They need it really bad. They need it really bad. All right, brother. God all right, my you. friend. Thank you been your weekly buzz see you next week definitely this video is sponsored by my friends over at mychiropractice.com custom branding and web design for successful chiropractors i love these dudes because of the raising image of chiropractic and i really thank them for supporting all of our videos rock and roll seven dollars can get you a romance novel a number one combo at in and out burger a 12 pack of granola bars a cup of green juice or one month of access to the cal jam network at CalJam, we take pride in the array of topics our speakers have covered over the past eight years. With the CalJam Network membership, most of our speakers' talks can be accessed. In our network, you can also find numerous seminars from the Dead Chiropractic Society's monthly meeting with over 100 chiropractors and some of the best speakers in the profession. The CalJam Network is your all-access pass to CalJam and DCS workshops, videos, and chiropractic content. From past CalJam speakers to recent DCS seminars, the network is a great resource for anybody passionate about chiropractic health or global sustainability. So don't miss out. We upload new and exciting content monthly, which can stream on any device, even your smartphone. Join the CalJam Network today for only seven bucks a month at calgam.org forward slash network.